Hey guys, I'm back on LEGO Pirates with another collectibles guide. This is the Black Pearl Attacks. And uh, this one's fairly easy compared to a lot of the other ones so far, but um, this is in the starting area. Just gonna blow that up with the hand cannon guy and break it, which took me a couple hits for some reason. And you're gonna get your first one. Turn over here to the right and switch to Blackbeard. And then you're going to want to do his uh, ability not exactly sure what that is, but you're going to do it, and you're going to break that thing and climb up here for your second bottle thing. Then, there's also a couple uh, hidden Jack Sparrow compass things. Uh, you're going to get, after I kill these guys, going to get a uh, that thingy, and also run all the way over here to the right corner, and... Uh, you're also going to get a fish. Pretty interesting. And, um, that's it for that area. When you get down to the bottom part here, you're going to switch to a character that can scream and break glass. And there's three of those, uh, uh boxes of glass in this area. It's going to be five total. And the first three are up on this level. And, uh, once you get all three of those... After I accidentally grab a barrel, once you get all three of those, you're going to uh, switch out to Jack Sparrow and find a guitar. And then you're going to swap out the Blackbeard, which I'm going to do in a second here. And there's another one of these skull things that you have to magically break open. Hop down here and you're going to find a bottle run off to the left and uh, you're gonna find another bottle really easy I'm not sure why they did that but there's a really easy couple of those and then uh, under the staircase uh, is the fourth um, box of glass and this is in the next area there's one of these things that you have to break open with uh, Blackbeard again you're gonna grab this fire and you're going to hop down to the next level uh, like the cannon and it's like a little mini game kind of um, you have to shoot all these flags, and uh, if you're anything like me, it's going to take you like 15 minutes, but hopefully you're better than me and it doesn't take you that long. But eventually you're going to get your fifth bottle. Then, uh, I believe if you swap to Jack Sparrow, or no, sorry, the, the, last, uh, the last thing of glass is in here. Then you're going to switch to Jack Sparrow, and over here in the corner, you're going to find something which is going to give you 6 out of 8. Uh, then this is in the final area. You have to use your compass to find this. I'm not sure why, but it just magically appears if you switch to your compass. This one is uh, underneath here. It's the exact same place. It's just it's it's down there. It's, it's kind of hard to see unless you know it's there. But you basically just need to jump down and get it as you're falling. This one's kind of annoying, but eventually you'll get it. And yeah. This is on the same area, I guess. You're just going to switch to a character that can scream and stand on that glass. Scream to break the glass. And uh, after you kill all these guys, which for me took forever. But after you do that, you're going to swap to Jack Sparrow. And you're going to find a treasure chest over here. Which you're going to break open. And get a ship in a bottle. Then there's another easy one right in the same area. You just hop down here and you're going to get it as soon as you get down here. And there's a lot of studs down here, by the way. And you might want to get those before you put out of the level. And here's the completed ship. And you have to sail all of them to get the achievement. So I just spin around in it for a little bit. Um, if, this, if these videos are helping you out, just uh, give me a like or subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.